watching Sabuleni at the tranquil house of rock and roses. One man said that trying to understand a woman is like looking for a black cat in a dark room, only that the cat isn't even in the room. So we decided to make it easy for the gentleman. In our final segment, we discuss how to win with a woman in your life. Now, how can men win big, you know, when it comes to romance, for instance, June? How does he win with this woman? loves me. He should, he, I, I think he, he can learn to love me the way I understand love to be. And it's, it's, it's all round. It's in the little things, it's in the big, big things. And it starts in the morning. As we talked earlier, it's a love relationship every day, a love affair. It's just paying that little attention to this lady. And it's the small things. It's Makes me a lifelong project. Yes. Mm. Yeah, just, just, just because I'm in the house, yeah. the project isn't over. Convince me that I'm in your thoughts every, every moment. Every day. Yeah, every day. <laughs> Even if you're far away, give me a call or go somewhere and pick something and say, hey, you know, when I was there, I was thinking about you. Yvette, yeah. when it comes to the issue, how can a man win mm -hmm. with a woman when it comes to the issues of birthdays and anniversaries? And a lot of guys just forget, play yeah. forget. Yeah. I guess it boils down to creativity. Mm -hmm. And this is the one time you can talk to her girlfriends and win. Mm -hmm. People who spend time with her, who know her. How can I surprise her? What's the newest joint? How, what will work for her? What is that thing that makes her tick okay yeah so really really find out that thing that works for her and it boils down on being her friend being her friend and just finding out how would you like to be treated read between the lines you know as you're hanging out together oh i'd really like this mm, note that down and see what you can do how does a man win <laughs> with his woman when it comes to the issue of appearance women back to you this one i'm taking it back to back 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 to the women you don't ask questions like that. What do you want a guy to say? Poor guy, what do you want him to say? Do I look fat? I mean, what do you want the poor man no, to say? No, you should just say, you know, you look fine. I love you the way you are. You know. the, the thing is, going back to appearances, women get insecure yeah. because they need to take responsibility that they don't take enough time with their bodies as, mm. as well. They don't take enough time to look as good as they probably did before. Mm. And looking good does not cost money, mm. okay? It's how, you know, how, what are you doing about what, what you eat? Mm. What's your diet like? Are you doing some form of exercise or something that's keeping your blood flowing? Mm. Are you taking time? You can wear the same clothes, but you can do things with it that make it look different. The other thing is it boils down to self-esteem and self-confidence. Mm. Somebody can wear a rag and look beautiful, and somebody can wear a designer outfit and look absolutely. So please just don't ask the question. Do and I don't look ask fat? the question because the thing is, <laughs> if you ask the question, you're either going to get the lie or the truth, and either one doesn't work for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. Okay, now Yvette, in the yeah. area of physical intimacy, how can a man win with his woman? What is her language of love? Mm. I think a man will win with his woman mm. when he connects with her emotionally. Mm. It's more than just an act, mm. you know, like let's get on with it. No, where are you at emotionally? Are you hurting? Who's upset you? Is it me? How can I be a better husband? You know, when she sees the effort that he's putting into this, that he's concerned about my emotional well-being, yeah? Talk about self-esteem, boost her self-esteem, tell her, how she is a wonderful person, her physical appearance, pick what works, pick out what's good. Mm -hmm. And she'll open up like a flower. Mm -hmm. I think she'll just open up like a flower. Mm -hmm. So I think in terms of physical intimacy, it's, an, it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience. But just make her feel like a million bucks mm. and you win big time mm. yeah and also it's a lot of what happens before Absolutely. and a lot of what happens after <laughs> isn't it okay yeah great now we're, uh, june when a woman comes to a man she's got a problem maybe something happened in the office and she's just really upset and she comes to him with a problem how does he win with her in that situation 
um, one of the things about women, they just need to be listened to. They just want to hear, let him be empathetic, you know, like, really, he did that. He, you know, you encourage somebody as you're listening, but she really wants to unwind. She wants to debrief. She wants to load it all out. And you need to empathize. You need to make her feel that you're feeling with her. That how could he do this or how could she do this? And, and really not come up and give solutions. Do this, do that. But probably if she does require a solution, what do you think? Then put it but don't put her down. Mm -hmm. Work with her, work with what, what are her strengths. How can you help her as a woman, the way you know her, hopefully you know her well enough, and, and, and feed into that situation. But ideally, women want to be listened to. They just want to hear this man hears me. And sometimes, one of the things men do, they'll be, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's, 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 they're not really listening. So like she can pose a question and you realize this guy wasn't with me for the past half hour. I was mm. saying stuff. Mm. He blacked out along the way and that really hurts. <laughs> so the, the guy really needs to actively listen mm. and listen well and feel her. Mm. And once he does that, then in fact, that's emotional therapy in itself. That's mm. enough. That's, that's more than anything else. Mm. Yeah. She doesn't need the solution then. Okay. Yes, yes. Questions or comments, gentlemen? Uh, on to appreciate someone, uh, this, the guy buys a present for the lady. And the moment you bring the present, especially on, on the color of which uh, ladies are so sensi sensitive on, it's like it's black and she's, she loves pink. Eh? Mm -hmm. Instead of appreciating it and telling the, the guy next time, uh, try and give me something that is pink, you, you're there screaming at, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should, uh, ladies should uh, look for a good way to reject something. Eh? A polite way. I think by, by doing that, the, the guy next time is going to look for something. But the, the minute you say that, you'll never do that again. I think he's also bringing a very good point in terms of communication is two way. It's this guy is working so hard. I can imagine probably he saved up and, and thought he was doing this wonderful thing. And that's the way he knows how to love. But you're still in a relationship, you're still learning each other. So you brought black. Now the lady on the other hand, it, it's it's hard to understand, to appreciate what he has done. It's not really the present. It's the effort that this guy has gone into. He's tried. So you want to make it better the next time. And I totally agree. Explain, please. Next time, why don't you try this? And, and try and because it's a two way thing, you're trying to build a relationship. You've worked hard, and she needs to also help you and appreciate what you've done. So, next time you're encouraged to even bring more, you know, next time you'll bring pink and you'll be even happier. So, it's a win win situation. But if I come and bark at you, for sure, you won't, you won't even bother again. You'll be cowed into your little corner and you won't try. Another question or comment? Now, this one goes to the women image maintenance. Mm. The first day the man met you, you were looking good. Now you are into the relationship. Time goes and it seems like you're losing it. So for romance to work also, you have to maintain your image. Don't look, don't look in a shabby way as in that will keep the man off you. Mm -hmm. At least you have to rejuvenate this to make the relationship go. You have to make it new every day. Look good, he'll appreciate it. Not that you, you only looked good the first day you met. And then as time goes, my goodness, you lose what you had. So it's, it's, it's somehow discouraging to the man. It's about sensitivity. In life, we go through thick and thin. And sometimes we rub shoulders with people who make our life miserable. For example, either it's work, our social engagements, and maybe in the same, in the same breath, I, meet, I collide with ladies who make my life miserable. So the same, I, I, to, before that, I was very sensitive. I, was, I used to tell you I love you, I used to furnish you with everything that you want, but I'm losing my sensitivity. And the same is being reflected in the re relationship. So what do I do? Because I want to get back to who I was, I want to, get, I want to rejuvenate my sensitivity, because if I lose my sensitivity, our relationship is not going to work well. So what do I do? Who is supposed to do what? Mm. Yeah. Tazim. I would request that you consider being open about where you're at. Mm. If a guy came to me and said to me, you know, I've had some really um, challenging experiences and through these challenging experiences, I have actually shut down my emotional way of feeling. And I want to get back to that because I want to really have a, a fulfilled relationship with you. I am going to do whatever it takes to help you get back there. So it becomes a joint thing and as you experience that sensitivity coming back, it's going to put so much more nurturing into your relationship. And this is, it boils down to communication. This is how I feel and this is what I want. Is it possible for us to work on it together? 
Well, thank you so much, ladies, for coming to the show to share what you know on what women wish men knew. And thank you, guys, for also participating and for being here today. Asante Nisana. Well, there you have it, some insights women wish men knew. Of course, these are only guidelines. And as each woman is a unique individual, it also helps to just ask her. This week, we are giving away two copies of John and Diana Hagee's book, What Husbands Wish Wives Knew and What Wives Wish Husbands Knew. To participate, please send us the name of the location this show was filmed at. In my final thoughts, I doubt it is possible for a man to fully understand a woman. Truth be told, we don't Full, always fully understand ourselves all the time either. But with a little practice, you can learn how to press your woman's right buttons and how to avoid all her <coughs> wrong ones. Remember, if mama is happy, everyone is happy. Thank you for watching. God bless and good night.